this is TVL and here we have Iman who is um, one of our students and we just finished our class it's, it was about an hour right yeah but we just we're thinking about you and we decided to do like an overview what we did today was how to sing like Beyonce and I'm sure some of you would like to know as well okay so we decided to do like a quick overview of um, the whole class so Iman are you ready? I'm ready, I'm ready so we gave some points first of all um, Beyonce is an amazing singer right the best of incredible the best. amazing singer to be able to sing like now remember not sound like her but sing like her she's a good singer obviously yeah all right everyone's got their own style everybody got their own style yeah. yeah so you have your own tone but you can learn some things from beyonce like her own style yeah yeah techniques and then and, and, and techniques and all that you see she's learning a lot mm -hmm. and then you can add it to your singing all right so first of all she has a good range a sufficient range now beyonce's voice um i've done some research and um it says she can go from a g sharp to the second octave g sharp in the second octave up to f sharp six that's way high that's way that's, that's into the whistle voice all right then we're gonna use a song as a reference halo now in this song her lowest range you know some of the things i see on the internet are not really really accurate, accurate yeah because i had to now listen to the song and score it and measure the lowest note in the song and found out that most people were saying f sharp three but i found out that the lowest note is not actually f sharp three c sharp three c sharp three uh where she went um oh by the way by the way the key she sings in um she sang the song in in her cd is different from what she sings in when she wants to do a concert the cd one um you may she did it on an A, key A, all right? But whenever she wants to do it in a concert, she does, she brings the um, key half down, half step down, okay? So that's what we're gonna use. We're gonna use um, A flat, all right? So the song originally is on A, but she does it, when she does it in concert, is an A flat, okay? But then, let's go back to the key she used in the album. We have this note uh, where she went, the lowest note, where I found the lowest note um, is the part of the song that she said, didn't even make a sound. Okay, something like, remember those walls I built, baby they're tumbling down, didn't even put up a fight, didn't even make a sound. That's the lowest note I found in the song. Well, if you think it's not, and you maybe have, drop you have a, a comment below. <laughs> yes, drop a comment <laughs> below, okay? But well, that's what I found. Didn't even make a sound. So that note in the album um, is uh, C sharp three, and the highest note, obviously, uh, most of the things I see on the internet is correct. F sharp, F sharp five. Great. Also, to sing like Beyonce, you have to have control. Uh, Beyonce's uh, voice type is a uh, mezzo soprano. I think so. Yeah, yeah mezzo soprano. Mezzo -soprano yeah. yeah, incredible range for a mezzo soprano. But obviously, I'll add coloratura to mezzo soprano. All right, because she knows how to maneuver through and notes. notes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's good with her riffs and runs, yes. and that's what coloratura means when you add it to a voice type. It means that voice type can maneuver. Yeah, exactly. All right. Um, a mezzo, a coloratura mezzo soprano means that she, her voice is agile, is rich, and is bright. Okay, great. So now another thing about control is tight riffs and runs. Tight riffs and runs. So the part of the riffs and runs um, example is where she w went breaking. So I'm gonna look into the lyrics. Obviously, I don't really know the song very much. It's like I've been awakened. Every rule I had you breaking And so on and so forth Okay Breaking Alright so that's a riff she did there She's good with dynamics Obviously when she started the song It started light Then it builds up Yeah it builds up uh, Remember those walls I built Baby that's tumbling down They didn't even put up a fight Yeah. 
so it started breathy and when you get to um, the part like that we just sang like in the recent rounds, it gets louder. So that's the dynamics you need in the song. You don't have to sing the song the same volume from beginning to end. It's going to sound boring yeah. and dull at some point. All right. So there are some points whereby the song gets soft, softer or louder. All right. So again, she went, uh, remember those walls I built. She didn't go, remember those walls I built. She went softer. Okay. Slowly, yeah. Yeah, and then the next thing she you need to be able to sing with vibrato. All right, vibrato. You know what vibrato is now? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So obviously I have videos I've done on vibrato, so you can go check them out. All right, and then the next one she sings with passion. Can just feel the feeling. Yeah, feel she sings with so much passion. You can hear it in her voice. I mean, if someone is crying, you can hear the tone of the person change. Yeah. It's the same with singing. All right, if I come to you and say, maybe I'm going for an interview and I had to catch this train, I just had to catch this train and I missed it. And I came to you and said, <laughs> I miss my train. I miss my train. You know, you won't take me seriously. Yeah. The voice is not portraying the experience. Uh, yeah, the emotion. Yeah. yeah. Show the emotion. Yeah, same with singing. So she sings with feelings. And then the next one, here we go again, mixed voice. You need your mixed voice. I can feel your hello, 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 hello. All right. So she used mixed voice there, and then Beyonce also growls. All right. She's good at growling. All right. Can we try? Can we try it? You know, um, it's not really good to growl so much in a song because. It's like it's breaking, like yeah, it breaks the technique rule, all right? You're not zipping up the right way like technique would require you to. Two. Yeah, you're going against it. So you're, you're, you're using like the whole of the vocal cord and also the muscles there, tighten them up to create that growl uh, tone. So when she went, um, we, we can use a word. I, I don't think she growled in the CD in this song. But sometimes we hear her growling in, in some live, other song, yeah. like in live. Or like, in Why Don't You Love Me, she growls live in that one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So to start out growling, to start out to learn it, you can go <clears throat> like you're clearing your throat. <clears> throat> so, <clears throat> yeah, so you hear something like um, a dog like growling. <clears throat> so you can start building it. Let's try it. <clears throat> <laughs> kind of weird, isn't it? Kind of funny. <clears throat> So she went, I can feel, I can feel, you know? Well, if you haven't built it to that level, yeah. it may I can't, hurt. I can't it, do it may hurt. Yeah. It's very painful, so, guys, so be careful when you're So be careful when growl. you growl, yeah. But you can start building it knowing that it starts, you know, it's kind of like a cough, <clears throat> like you want to clear your throat. So you can practice with this and gradually build your way up until you're able to growl. That's how I learned anyway. And then the next one, um, slur. She slurs her notes, like when she went, baby, they're tumbling down. Baby, baby they're tumbling down. down. So slur is going through several notes, smoothly connecting them, all right? Okay, so the last one is crescendo. It's like I've been awakened. Can we try that? It's like I've been awakened. Every rule I had you break it. Beautiful. So we're going to do awaken again, but in the beginning of the awaken, you make it softer, lower in volume. Awaken. Awaken. Let's go. Awaken. That's it. So we, we, we've had your class anyway and we did something, all right? So I want us to just try it a bit, all right? Try the song. Okay, so. This is the intro. 